the most common cause, the most common cause of death for Aboriginal people has to be a lack of access to good fundamental information. Now, that's not what people wanted to hear. But that's what's causing the high death rate amongst Aboriginal people right across Australia. That's what's causing the high jailing rates right across Australia. That's what's causing the high levels of unemployment right across Australia. Access to good fundamental information in a language that they can understand their own language. Uh, programs rolled out to deal with that will deal with the levels of death that people are suffering from, whether that's from heart disease, whether it's from diabetes, whether it's from renal failure, uh, that have come from scabies infections, whether it's ear disease, where we've got now massive ear disease, which wasn't there in the 70s. Guys, it wasn't there in the 70s, it's there now. Never saw ear discharges in the 1970s. Uh, started in about the 1980s. Uh, got lots of ideas of why it's, why it's there. Heart disease is a massive one. The change to modern, modern food recommended by most of the institutions across the world. Taking Aboriginal people away from their traditional diet of saturated fats and so forth. See, in traditional diets, saturated fats are seen as holy. Every, uh, the, the calendar that Jungo used to use, well, they still use today, are the different flowers, the different flowers on different trees and bushes and so forth, which indicate the saturated fat level in particular animals, including even in oysters. And they would only go and harvest those animals when they are at the highest level of saturated fats. Yet Westerners have come along and said, saturated fats are bad. The, the Framingham Institution in America since 1948 has been trying to find a connection between saturated fats and, and heart disease. They haven't been able to find it. So maybe we need to be asking questions, not so much of Aboriginal people, but where we're at also in our endeavours to have a healthy life. But heart disease now is a massive, a massive uh, death, death rate around heart disease. And people are completely bamboozled by it. They don't understand it. People don't understand that circulation is needed in the body by blood. They're back in Galen's theory where blood just surged in the body that never went around. That's where most indigenous people, traditional indigenous people are at. So they need to know about circulation. They need to know about the heart. They know the pulse points of the body. Traditional Aboriginal people can tell you all the pulse point of the body right down to the feet. They call that the ngir. They call it the breath of the spirit. The ngir, ngir, the breath of the spirit. And they know when the breath of the spirit stops, the person dies but they haven't connected the breath of the spirit here to the function of the heart. Even though they've, they've cut open animals and they've seen pumping hearts and all that, the connection just never has happened. So they need to know about what Westerners or Europeans discovered about the heart and acting like a pump after the Industrial Revolution when they started to see needed to move water from here to there and the development of pumps and so forth. They need to have that basic information. When they get that, they'll start to see how they need to change their, their, their diet and their, their um, things they eat and lack of exercise and so forth. Like, like today, people, indigenous people used to move, 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 move. In their traditional lifestyle, they'd be going all day, every day, on the move. So culturally, they were about conserving energy. They, they would not do, you know, let's go home and lift weights. <laughs> Wasn't on in the old days. Well, let's go, for a, let's go for a long walk up around the hill. Well, they've already walked up around the hill and down to the valley and through the other side and back. And how many kilometres have they done today? They've already done 10 or 20 or whatever. So exercise is seen as a nonsense by most traditional people. And uh, when they see Ballander exercising, they say, Ooh, what's going on here? You know, you should be conserving your energy. But now they're not doing any work. They're driving around in cars. They're 
hardly even walking, even short distances, and eating all the Ballander food. So they've got all those lifestyle problems now of overweight, obesity, diabetes, you name it. Sitting up late at night, used to sit by the campfire. The campfire was nice and yellow, give them nice yellow lights, go, go to bed, sleep. Now people are on their phones and they're looking at computers, blue lights, keeping them awake all night. People are out on the streets all night. Massive amounts of information that people need access to. They need that. And if they give that access to fundamental information around some of these things, we will see that uh, people's health will start to improve. And some of these basic things now around disease and sickness and high death rates will start to drop. At the moment, the worst one, heart disease, diabetes. Diabetes lead to renal failure. Renal failure is massive. But see, there's a, there's a case in point. Just the other day, phone call from a colleague and uh, who's, who's a, a young old linguist. And uh, he said, what does kidney failure mean? He didn't, he, he knew the word kidney, but the English word failure used in that sense made no sense to him made no sense to him whatsoever. So when I explained it to him, he says, oh, that's pretty serious, isn't it? Yeah, that's fairly serious. Yeah. You'll need to be on dialysis for the rest of your life. So what is dialysis really? And then we had to talk through that. Now dialysis is like a big filter. And it's the only way of getting the rubbish out of your blood so that the poison in your blood doesn't go on to kill all the different organs in your body, including your brain and your heart and so forth. Um, this basic information is what is needed. Let's hope we can get it out there so people will stop dying from all these different diseases. Mm -hmm.